Hey guys, so what if Vehicle Legends adds Volkswagen to the game licensed? Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the possibilities that will happen if they ended up doing this. But before I get started, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, if you guys, like most of you probably know this, but if you don't know what Volkswagen is, it's this brand like that sells like sedans and stuff and like really slow cars. But they actually, they're one of the biggest car companies in the world and they actually own some pretty cool exotic brands that could come to the game if they ended up licensing it. And I'm going to be showing you like each of the brands. So without further ado, let me show you the first one. The first brand that like Volkswagen owes is Audi, which in this game is called Zylinder. Now we have that five different Audis here. We have this one, which is the, uh, this is Sport Quattro. We got the R8 GT. We got the this car, which is the um, this is RS6. Then we have the R8, the normal version, and then we have this car, which I think is the RS3, but I don't really know. So we could get these five cars plus more if they license Volkswagen, and this is just the first of many brands. Now, second, we already did get confirmed that we're not going to be getting them, but next up is. Lamborghini which is Veloke in this game now these are all like fake models but like this is still in the game this is the uh, Vision GT then we have the what is this the Veneno I believe then we have the Sion and then we have this car which this is the Reventon and then we have this one which is the Urus and then we have the Gallardo so again, this is just like a brand that they could add, but again, they're, they already confirmed that they're not adding Lamborghini anymore, so just scratch this one. They're not adding Lamborghinis. Next up is Bentley. Now, I don't know what Bentley is in this game, so I think it's called, oh yeah, it's called Miller, yeah, Milner, yeah. So they could add this Bentley Continental GT in the game if they licensed it and I completely forgot this car even existed in this game so yeah they could add this car licensed which is a pretty cool brand I mean it, yeah it's a good brand uh, nothing else to really talk about for this brand though now next up this is probably everyone's favorite brand uh, this is called Spende which is Porsche we got a bunch of Porsches here starting off with the uh, this is the Mission R and then we have the this is the 917 and then we have this car, like some track version. Then we have the Mission X right here, which is actually off sale. And then we have the 959, I believe. And then we have the Gambello Mirage GT. And then we have the 918 Spider, which I don't know why I put in this yellow. And then we have this car, which I keep forgetting what it's called, but it's really slow. The GT3 RS, which is pretty cool. And then I think this is the old GT3 RS. And then we have the, what is this? The Carrera GT. This is the, another really old Porsche. And then we have the GT2 RS. And then we have, I think this is like some sort of GT4. And then we have the Taycan Turbo S, I believe. And then we have this, uh, this is like a boxer or something. And then we have, wow, we have a lot of Porsches in this game. We have this off-road version of a Porsche. And then we have the one with the animated roof, which is really cool. Just look at this animation, man. It's like really good. And then the next one we have is this car. This is a 911 Carrera S, I believe, which is actually off sale. So it's really, really rare, this car. And then last, we have this Porsche, which is like the probably the slowest Porsche. But yeah, it's still pretty cool, and I could see them licensing Porsche if they licensed Volkswagen. Now, I believe Volkswagen used to own Bugatti, but now I don't think they do anymore. They actually, I think they sold Bugatti, so I think they're on their own now. But all of those brands that are like currently in game, plus some like Chinese brands, like they're probably not gonna get added. But I, I think all the brands that are in the game right now could get added if they license Volkswagen. Which is pretty exciting because, you know, that's a lot of different licenses. And if you guys don't know, Driving Empire already has Audi and Porsche. So, like, they could be getting Volkswagen too. I really don't know. But, yeah, this is only about VL. But, yeah. Actually, I missed the brand. This brand is actually a bike. I uh, don't really know what it's called in-game. 
might need to go to the bike dealership for that so let me just real quick uh teleport there if i can where is it races dealerships motorbike dealership let's just head on in here and see what this bike is called i forgot what it is but let's see yes this is there here you go this is a ducati apparently and this thing could get licensed as well i don't really know but i don't think vl really is focusing on bike licenses that much but still pretty cool that this car is in the game and okay here's a little bug that i found so if you're seeing this you might want to fix this vl because this is really weird it's called the diamant okay let's see if it's bugged outside diamant here it is right here let's see is it bugged let's check and no it's fine here but yeah this would be pretty cool if it got licensed as well all right guys so that will basically conclude today's video if you found it helpful don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel i'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers and also don't forget to join the discord server link in description and yeah have a nice day